Greetings, God of Gold uh, back again. I uh, just had a little software issue recently using OBS now. I've used a little bit of this before, but eh, what are you gonna do? Anyways, um, so a couple things I feel like I should update in this video. Number one, the last video that I made, I've noticed seemed to have gotten some mixed reactions. So I just feel like I should clear the air to ensure that, you know, there's no animosity. Now, I understand that some of you do like Victoria 3. Now, I'm not going to go into detail why I hate it. I'm sure you've heard me rant about it a few times before. I don't know. But, um... Basically, if you really want to see it, you're going to have to comment down, well, not comment, but go to my channel, but then you can comment, you know, on the video afterwards and whatnot. But I just want to make it very clear that I am not here to promote hate towards others, you know, just want to make that very clear in case if, you know, you, just a few of you say, you know, I'm wrong or something, which I, I'm i not going to argue with people. So if you like the game, that's fine. If you want to support the petition, um, I'm all for it. I am currently just done with it, and I don't think I'm going to play it unless, of course, if there really is legitimate change that someone would like to show for the game, maybe, just maybe, I'd be willing to give it a chance, but of course, also, it don't crash on me with the launch, because that also has been happening lately. So, so yeah, um, I'm not going to go into depth with that, you know, if you want to, if you want to keep going with the game, or if you do still like it, that's fine, it's just my personal grunt with it, uh, in terms of the other videos that I was trying to make, such as A Cold Steel World, I know I've been trying to make some updates on how like the mod system works and whatnot, but I also um, have been making a lot of German-related content to the mod. Now, if, of course, I don't, I sadly don't have the game up and running, although I can um, get it started, and perhaps I will show you what's going on. So, see you in a sec. Okay, um, we're back, and I got the game running now, and I'll be able to show you what happened. So, aside from, uh, the events that I've been working with, not really many border changes to address, Although, um, here and there, there's been some fixes, uh, mainly in the Ural region, parts of uh, Germany and Poland. Not really too many fixes. I'll show you very quick. Um, also, for those who have not seen this mod and are new, I will say welcome to. I forgot to say that at the beginning, but basically, um, we are working on this project. This started back in um, September. So at the time, this was a bit of a new concept for me. It was a more straightforward concept without going too overboard away from vanilla. Of course, there are some vanilla changes. China's uh, content is coming in the near future. I can't exactly say when for those who are wondering because, well, we literally just started making content as we speak. But we'll try to keep you up to date down in the Discord server below. Um, I highly suggest if you want to try to get the latest updates, go there. If you have questions, same thing. Um, we're, we're, we're here, we're available, and we'll try our best to answer your questions on the mod. Um, so I think the mod right now is in a stable state. Not much to say for the map, so moving on. Now there are certain um, kinds of errors that could crash the game. For example, there's an event that for some reason 
spawns early on with Germany. It's a non-aligned event. I think the only way to bypass it is to hit the bottom choice, but if you hit the top choice, it might just crash the game entirely. Um, that's just the list of errors. Uh, sometimes they cache the same thing, so don't worry about that. So what I, we've been working on recently is leaders, events, uh, event pictures, and of course an early German focus tree. This tree is small, but it's designed to be dynamic and coexistent with a bunch of events and scripted stuff, such as triggers and, well, effects in general. Localization could also be used as well, but the problem is, is that in order for each of these tooltips to, I guess, properly work, you need, you know, to use the localization, you need to have the pathing right, so on and so forth. So this is what's been going on. Not too many changes, I would say, here. I mean, there are parties that are off. Still working on them, though. Uh, the tree is right here. We've done a series of rework to the tree. It used to be a little bigger, but the reason why I shrank it down is because of confusion matters. Because there was one that was an election focus, and another, which was this, the basic default path because in this concept of the mod Hindenburg is supposed to die basically um, this takes a bit of a different turn because Hindenburg was basically the staple that held together the German state after he died and since of course uh, the Nazi party was dissolved in this timeline by 1923 they started to do a lot of things with different radical groups such as... Um, now, here's the thing. The ideology of Nazism in this game only exists in a different format. It does not exist as we know it in real life. Now, if for some messed up reason YouTube tries to come after me for this, this is a historical lesson. And this is a mod based on said historical lesson. So, honestly, you know, I'm not going to put up with that. So, anyways. So, this mod features a lot of different stuff. There's new uh, systems that will make the internal factions work, especially the DNVP. The DNVP are fascist. Uh, pro-monarchist nationalist hybrids but because it's made up of three different like sub-factions within the main party it's very hard to determine whether or not if let's say you go for this party then you try to go down let's say Hugenberg's order you will be nationalist rather than fascist you might be might want to work with the monarchy but you're not going to be a monarchist state you're going to be more like a military dictatorship it kind of goes hand in hand with that of Kornilov's government which is also nationalistic and of course military dictatorship even though it doesn't say it up there I don't know why it doesn't but probably have to figure that out too but the idea is simple all we do is give each mechanic based on the faction and give each advisor based on said faction so it goes hand in hand with everything else regarding the effects that you take and regarding the party uh, system you take so for instance in this one we have a couple of factions in um, Bavaria Bavaria will be housing what what I like to call in a blanket term Nazbol. Nazbol meaning national Bolshevik, which is a hybridization of ultra nationalism and, of course, Bolshevism. So it's like fascism and communism together in a way. Um, so, but because it is so similar to certain other ideologies, this party, or at least some of the components of the party, were formed because of the Nazi party's collapse. Now, because in this timeline that party died, others were 
forced to reconsider their political outlook and basically uh, break bread with former communists and, of course, very far-right conservatives or nationalists to the point where they decide to, eventually as time went on, the party blended together into a national Bolshevik-like fashion under, so it's de facto, well, it's de jure national syndicalist, but it is de facto national Bolshevik. But it's also under the category of what we like to call as well in the de facto segment as national, like revolutionary socialist, national socialist. It's complicated, I know. But basically, these guys are, they did not have the same goals as Hitler did. Because, well, he's dead in this timeline, so that wouldn't work. Um, they do use the 25 points, but the problem is, is that there's no, like, uh, it's not like how they did it in real life. I'm not going to go into the deep reasons, but basically, you know, if you want more information, of course, you can always go to the Discord below, uh, featured link there. And, um, well, basically, we have a three-way civil war in Germany. We have the Democrats, which is under Paul von Hindenburg's right now, although when he gets assassinated, the next president, if you play as him, of course, uh, has to try to preserve the Republic. You could also ask the West for help, such as England, Britain, and maybe even Belgium. But keep in mind that only if only they would agree to demilitarize this area in order to help you, that's the only way. Because if you can't demilitarize this area, and, well, you can't just... Actually, I think it might just be demilitarized anyway because according to according to Vanilla, there's a system where if Germany does get into a civil war with the military junta, it just demilitarizes anyway because it it technically is defunct now that the uh, well when the fascists and Nazis fell. Um. So, basically, to put it simple is we have a whole, we also have some new uh, victory points in some areas, pretty cool. Um, so now, with all this in mind, we are preparing for the next phase of like a very meticulous and slow and steady testing of each of the German events that we make. For example, if I hit Germany one, you'll see that there's three candidates. But these candidates are going to be, I guess you could say, accounted for depending on the path that you take. So if you favor more of a, you know, pro-state, then you'll get the DNVP. Syncretics will lead down to the SA, which that is the national um, syndicalist, AKA Nazbols. Uh, then counter the revolutions. I, you can guess that that is the republic path. This was designed so that you become West Germany during the Civil War because it doesn't matter what path you take here, uh, the Civil War will happen for sure. Even if you don't continue down this tree, uh, there might actually be a thing where if you, you know, if you don't continue down the tree, you could end up getting certain debuffs, or you might just lose eligibility for certain things. But also, uh, certain things will not happen. Like, for example, if you play as the Democratic Path, and you only pick the first top one, but you never finish the rest, you could get serious problems. Because if you complete all of those before the Civil War is done, then well, you'd be good to go. And you basically have a fighting chance, if you will. 
Each one will be, be have a balanced mechanic over time. I know that localization looks kind of repetitive, as you saw in the options, like candidate one, candidate two, candidate three. Keep in mind, these are all early work in progress, so please excuse the uh, gappy uh, content. But uh, we are also preparing icons for the focus tree. We do plan to work on them uh, probably within the next couple to a few weeks. And I, we will definitely keep you posted in the Discord server. And if you are ever interested, maybe if you wanted to lend a hand, if you have graphical experience in the Paradox sphere of modding, or maybe you want to propose something just for the hell of it, be my guest. We are not going to disregard uh, or publicly denounce any creativity. We are listening. We are here. And we'll do our best to reach out to you. I know things have been getting busy, but we're here. So um, I guess in conclusion, um, this is the little showcase that I'm getting for you. Um, I know it's not much, but also, you know, things have happened recently. I've been very busy. So uh, sit tight for an update. Uh, also, if you do like my content and you really want to see more updates, maybe some fun gameplay or something, whatever, and, you know, comment down below what you want to see next. Uh, hit the like button and if in order to not miss my next video just hit subscribe and hit that bell notification that way you will not miss anything so um, yeah um, I wish you the best and thank you all for watching take care